Hello, my channel animals. Welcome to Yankee. Um, guess what? Today we're going to make a cake. But just as I came around the door, I thought I need to tell you about these chairs first. We, we've always used the chairs that we make, the beautiful sheath chairs, you know, the beautiful with the flower basket in the back and so forth. But we brought those to store it, to stowage up at um, the school because we're going to sell those chairs. And, and we thought, oh, um, we need to make some new chairs. <laughs> so we had these old chairs they were really ugly. They were white and um, they were all just white, I guess. And so we painted them to be um, chartreuse and gray. This is like, you know, the color of gray of the military. And, um, but I didn't like the way they looked. They looked kind of like Ikea chose the colors. They were too, clean. <laughs> so I went over the rush seats with um, shellac, amber shellac, and that changed the attitude of it considerably. So I was really happy about that. But then they seemed a little low for the table. So I decided to add casters on. I'm going to put this on the table so you can see it. And I put casters on it, and it, so they swivel every which way, like an office chair, see? And then, also, to keep the wooden legs from splitting when you have to drill up inside and put this, the weight of this, you know, caster and all the activity of the caster, I used um, pipe, uh, you know, hose clamps. See these hose clamps on them? to hold the wood together to be sure that it could never crack. But I like the way it looks visually, you know, like that. And and it's so much fun when you come up to the, you know, to the table on your rolling chair. It's so easy to pull yourself up to the table. And I love the way they look in Yankee because they have a kind of industrial attitude about them because of just in the plain old open using a hose clamp <laughs> and, a, and a caster as a sort of a feature. And so I just thought you'd enjoy seeing that because I thought it can kind of, it, it gives you so much of a fearlessness about what you use. Um, to not think that because it's, it's a, um, a working part that it couldn't show, you know. So it's, it's just part of, of the fun of, letting all the working parts be beautiful to your eye. Okay, so now we're gonna get on with making a cake. Okay, it's a, long, a little bit of a long story. I wanted to make a basil cake. So I made a chocolate basil cake. And I think I might have made it on YouTube, or maybe not. But um, I used a really high quality of chocolate like 80% or something, but it was too strong for the basil and it, it just took over. <laughs> so it was, it was delicious, but it didn't give the basil a chance to, sh to shine. So then I decided to just do a cake, just strip down and just the basil and a little lemon, <laughs> a lot of lemon. But um, so I, I have everything ready it's not going to take very much time to um, put it together. But I thought we could, you know, even though I've already measured most everything out, I thought it would be fun for you um, to not have to do the boring part, but just throwing it together and mixing it up. Okay, so here's the story. Um, the one thing that you might not be so familiar with is what we call a coverlet. I'm not sure what other cultures call it, but it's to keep the flies out or the dust out or anything of something from for food and when um, our daughter Heather lived in Africa well she lives in Africa now <laughs> but when she was a girl um, she also lived there and she lived with Lady Erskine uh, no well she lived with Lady Erskine and then she when she traveled deeper into Kenya 
she um, lived with Mrs. Rothschild. And um, the Rothschild family are the family that saved the Rothschild giraffes from extinction. And so her, on her farm, there are lots of these beautiful, that's the biggest giraffe in, in existence, these giant giraffes. And when Heather would wake up in the morning from her bedroom, of course, there are no windows in, in these buildings because they don't need, it's warm all year round. So she just walks out onto this veranda on the second level of her cottage. And the giraffes are right there, right at her face because it's so high up. And she would, she would go in, inside and get treats from in the morning. Um, there would be juice and um, fruit and so forth. And she'd get some fruit for the giraffes. But as she, her first morning staying there with Mrs. Rothschild, the maid brought up um, some juice with a coverlet over it, with a beaded trim all around, all made by hand. I still have that coverlet. Um, but we started making them uh, for, for you all to have. And, uh, and this one's the one that we made. It has little, um, the little beads are actually, um, wait, on this one? Yeah, the little beads are, are purple amethyst. They're actually amethyst stone. And then there's brass and a little uh, tassel. And so it, I covered up the flower with it. Not because it really needed, it's not all that dusty today. It's a quiet work day, actually. You don't hear much today. But I just thought you'd enjoy, I'm just sharing things with you you know, that, that are in the cupboards and in the drawers. And it's so much fun to bring them out and share them. That's why you have lovely things is to make other people happy, I think. Okay, so so I decided, see how lumpy the flour is? <laughs> um, I'm gonna sift the flour and then, um, which you don't normally need to, you probably wouldn't need to. You know what I think I'll do here is before I finish, that is I'll add the baking powder and the salt. So here's the salt in a little dish and we glued a little a little uh, shell on the bottom so it actually can sit upright. So here's the salt and new baking powder because it said that you really have to with baking powder it has a shelf life. Even though it looks perfectly fine, you can't really tell, but that it um, it does need to be refreshed. And when I made my cake, even though it was so delicious and we all loved it, oh, I was gonna put it in here and sift it through, but oh well. Um, it it um it needed I felt to be um, refreshed. So I never I never would throw anything out. Um, so I use the regular baking powder for things I don't really care about that much, but I, I tried a new uh, container of it this time, so it should work really well and help it be a lighter cake. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, one item down, two, three items, the salt, and the baking powder and the flour. So those are the dry ingredients. Well, there's one more. There's um, sugar, but I have to rub the sugar and the zest of the lemon together so that it becomes like sand, wet sand on the beach. So that's what I, I need, one more bowl. So just a moment, I'll get one. <laughs> Look at this, looks like a Snowy Mountain Range. It's beautiful, isn't it? My favorite bowl, named after our granddaughter, Widika. And um, and I tell this story every time I use this bowl. <laughs> it's like these people that just keep telling you the same stories. But um, I, well, we'll see. Um, if, if you've already heard it, just, you know, throw something at me. <laughs> anyway, we need to zest according to the single recipe, two lemons. That's a lot of zest. So, and also what I'm not sure about is, 
don't have a good zester right now. So what I did last time is I carved it off of the lemon and chopped it fine, but I think it's gonna be barely okay. So my channel mammals, here is this beautiful chartreuse of the, of the lemon. Isn't it pretty? I love that color. Oh. And so now, here is the container that I put the sugar in. I, do, I did this all for you. I hope you're enjoying seeing these things. This is a, a collection of urns that Richard and I designed in Italy called You Earned It. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name, but anyway. <laughs> um, so this is the You Earned It in gray. And we have these for our canisters here at, on Yankee. So I don't usually keep sugar in this one. I keep popcorn in this one. But today, it's for the sugar. So, um, so we're, we're going to put this in here. It seems like an awful lot of sugar to me. But, I, I mean, the cake is quite, you know, delicious. <laughs> so it must be because of all the sugar. And, and notice the sugar is kind of lumpy, too. Because it is... Very rain in summer we have here. There. But this has a beautiful, if you look closely, I don't know if you, a, car, a cartouche it's called on the front. And um, I love the way that works. And Richard carved these all, all by hand, these cartouches. Oh, he made a, a pattern, I mean a mold of it. I'll turn it around so you can see it can gaze at it <laughs> and then these are pewter lids and it's from the last company in Italy that still makes pewter um, pewter was originally made in Austria but it became too expensive to make there so they moved it to Italy and now it's moved out of Italy to even uh, more um, economical places to to make it but it's it's all turned it's it's not um a cast it's not cast so it it has a beautiful a beautiful way most of them most of our our lids have a stamp inside of them maybe only the large ones that say our name and look at how beautifully they fit these these canisters um th these are made these are made after these canisters are made and um, so they all they all fit really well because these are all made by hand but they are very good um, at making everything very precise so that so that could fit isn't that great okay so now here comes the handwork squish my fingers between the lemon zest and the sugar picking out twigs as we go or whatever and um, it's supposed to kind of get damp, kind of, see I'm, I'm rubbing the, the lemon into the sugar. And I think it's gonna bring out more of the flavor of the lemon. I feel like I'm in the sand at the beach right now. Oh, it's so wonderful. I can't wait for you to do this. You won't believe how much fun it is. You hear it squeaking between my fingers? And it feels like fine, fine perfume coming, wafting up into my face. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, channel mammals, look at these. I thought we were going to be too late. But I think they're okay. Oh, oh, they are. Aren't they gorgeous? They are dream cakes. And the the baking powder is the answer. What a difference! What a dip. My last ones were as big as they were when I put them in. Now they tasted amazing. It tasted really dense, like a heavy pound cake, but delicious. 
and these are going to be light. Oh, oh, I can't get over how beautiful they are. The color of them. Oh, I just have to put my, I just have to put a little um, relief. <laughs> oh, I really think these are perfect. I can't wait. And you know, I, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to surprise you. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, but then I'm going to surprise you when they're, when they're decorated. Okay? So, you'll see a new, a new way of decorating cakes. <laughs> Let's see where am I? Oh, here they are. taking them out too soon but I'm so happy oh, I just I like them with this side up you know I, I don't think they should turn over like you do when you make a I'm sorry we have all these um, cords around to get more light in here it's not usually like this oh they're just absolutely dreamy there it is You can smell the lemon and you can smell the basil, both. Oh, okay, so I'll get this one out. This one's a little darker because it was in the back of the oven. So it might be not as pretty. It looks less, also, less risen. Maybe there's a little less batter in it. Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be beautiful. So great. Well, I'm going to make a lemon glaze over them. Um, what they suggest is um, lemon juice, sugar, and milk, but and drizzling it, and it just sounds awful to me. <laughs> when you see <laughs> you see these beautiful objects that are so perfect, just the way they are. To have some squiggly drizzle, it'll look awful. So, oops, <laughs> the butter is exposing itself. <laughs> but so I thought I would just do lemon and sugar and what just a titch of water and just gently, whilst it's still warm, brush it or pour it over the top and let it um, just give it a little tingle as you eat the top edge of the cake. <laughs> oh, it's great. They're beautiful. I made some um, buttercream icing that I used on the chocolate cake, um, the chocolate basil cake. But um, I kind of, I hate to cover these with icing. They're so, they're so pretty the way they are. Anyway, I have enough that I could put buttercream icing on each one, oh, even over the lemon glaze. Well, we'll think about it and see what seems best. Okay, look at that. I'm just gonna let you, you all can take a picture. Okay, so I'll get the cakes ready, and we'll have we'll have a wonderful um, little party eating cake together. How's that? <laughs> I'll see you in a minute.
Thank <laughs> you.